Now that we're compiling dyno data, such as horsepower, torque, with air fuel ratio, whether sampled by uh, an onboard Dyno RT style module or an accessory such as the wideband device on this CBR. We can also, within the same Dyno run, compile all of the performance data from a DynoJet performance electronic, such as a Power Commander 6, a Power Vision 3, or Power Vision for Harley Davidsons, to have all of that data meshed in the same run. For a Power Commander 6 application, you'll get channels such as throttle position, injector duty cycle, perhaps gears or speed if you have tapped into those signals and run them into the Power Commander 6. Jump into Power Vision 3, you'll get all those channels and more, but in a different flavor. These are actually not interpreted signals by the Power Commander 6. They're actually from the diagnostic port. So you'll get channels such as manifold absolute pressure, actual ignition timing, throttle angle, or on drive-by-wire equipped bikes, you'll get twist grip position as well as throttle position. In each of these cases, whether it be piggyback or reflash device, again, how we just went over how to set up the RPM on this dyno run, those devices that we're plugging into via USB can then become the RPM channel that feeds into power core to then give us those accurate torque readings and other benefits of having a software-driven RPM signal. Beyond just the channels that are contained on those devices, Power Commander and Power Vision are those AFR channels that we could natively get from the Power Commander or Power Vision in the case of, say, an auto tune. You can have an auto tune connected to your Power Commander with your wideband and your exhaust as well. You would then see, yes, your Power Commander data plus the wideband data from that auto tune device. Likewise, on the Power Vision 3 here, we have the wideband CX reporting its data to the Power Vision 3. So now we're going to get wideband data from the Power Vision 3 catering courtesy of the Wideband CX.